Carol Mockin. Thank you, President Officer. I'm sure that members across the Chamber will agree about the importance of removing stigma around mental health and wellbeing. Can the Minister provide an update as to how these plans in this statement can actually help to continue to tackle this? Minister. So the, the member asked an excellent question, and you know, stigma is the bane of my life. It's, it's the bane of many colleagues' lives because it prevents people from getting the help that they need, and it prevents people from getting the help that they are entitled to. That's why one of the first priorities of this strategy is to aim for a Scotland which is free of stigma and inequality, where everyone fulfils their right to achieve the best mental health and well-being possible. Um, the member will be aware and agree that we have made great progress over recent years and now it, it, we are in the lucky situation where many people feel comfortable talking about mental health, many people feel comfortable talking about mental health, ill health and what they do to keep themselves well, but we have more to do and one area which attracts my interest personally with my history of working with people with severe and enduring mental illness is that particular group who still face relatively large amounts of stigma.